In the last months I've been considering on taking one of the Palo Alto exams, either the PCNSA or the PCNSE. And although I don't plan to take the exam in the near future, I've been studying uh, using some of the resources available on the internet. And so I decided to make this video to share with you in case you plan to take one of these exams. Um, so you can use it as a reference. Okay, so this is the Palo Alto Network Certification Program website. I'm going to share this link in the video description. So here you can see uh, they have a bunch of exams like cybersecurity practice, uh, practitioner. So those entry level certifications or foundational exams, uh, they are target for those individuals who don't have much experience with cybersecurity, uh, firewall administration and so on. In my case, I have already some pretty good experience with the Palo Alto firewalls. I wouldn't say pretty much, but with Palo Alto firewalls and other vendors as well. So I won't take these uh, these trainings or these certifications. The ones that I'm considering that I've been using are these legacy one. I don't know what they call it, legacy. It just looks like it's old, but it's going to be either PCNSA and PCNSA. E. So I've been using a lot of resources related with PC NEC because I consider this to be a more advanced level and it is a more advanced level in comparison with PC NSA uh, because this is just covers the foundational uh, topics for those who just want to get started with Palo Alto firewalls. But anyway, let's take a deep look into each of these programs so that uh, you can see what are the resources available that you can use in case you plan to take one of these exams. Okay, so let's start with the PCNA certification exams. So uh, this is the, the website, so you can register for this exam and uh, you will take this exam by using the person view platform that essentially allows you to schedule the exam and then you can choose whether to take the exam online or go to uh, an authorized person view test center so these exams so uh, let's take a look at the data sheet so that's the palo alto network pcnsa just for short uh, this is the uh, latest uh, data sheet for this exam and this exam costs uh, around 155 usd it depends on where you're going to from which country you're going to schedule uh, i'm in portugal so i believe that on on top of this amount i'll be paying the taxes as well so this is a 19 minutes exam multiple choice questions uh most similar to other vendors and they say here that it is uh, recommended to take these uh certifications all these trainings as well okay and here we can see the topics that you are expected to be um uh asked during the exam so device management and services so demonstrate knowledge and interfaces so how to initially manage uh, the the firewall anyway i'm going to share this in the, in the video description as well but here you can see which topics you're expected to know uh to be evaluated during the exam so that's like a very very basic one right there okay so this is the data sheet so let's go back to the main website so we what are the resources available that you can use so if we take a look at uh learning path it's going to take us to this platform and here you have some modules some lessons that you can use these are available for free you just have to uh, create your account on this platform and then you can start watching these lessons so they have um, some pretty interesting modules here that you can use to prepare for this exam okay so this is one of the resources that you can use actually let's go back to that path because you can also take a look at some of the other resources that they have here available okay that you can use to prepare for this pcnsa exam okay so let's take a look at this so this is target audience so that wouldn't be required so as they say those are also the additional trainings that they recommend i don't they don't say that it's mandatory to take these 
uh, these trainings or to pass these exams because if you take a look at uh, PCNS, so PCNSCC apprentice, so just take a look at this one. Uh, this is another exam and you would have to pay to take this exam and it costs uh, 150 USD. Now again, they don't say that it is mandatory to take this exam, the apprentice and the practitioner. So if you're comfortable with uh, Palo Alto, so you're expected to have some experience managing Palo Alto before taking this exam. So I don't know, it's up to you whether you feel that you need it or not. Okay. Now for these uh, instructor led courses, then this is one that you would have to uh, also to pay. That's not a free training. So if you take a look at register for course and so let's see, for instance, that's English. So if you go to enroll, uh, those trainings, okay, they will cost you around this amount. So 2000 to 3000 euros, depending where you're based. Okay. So again, um, this is not uh, mandatory. It is just uh, recommended in case uh, you want to feel more comfortable before taking the PC NSA exam. Okay, so let's take a look at additional resources. So there are also what the tech docs, Cyberpedia, Knowledge Base, and let's just open one of them. So these are uh, other platforms that you can use to gather information about uh, Palo Alto products. Uh, like the firewalls and other products that may have there and also they have these like Wikipedia where you can search uh, related things uh, not only to Palo Alto but cybersecurity or network security in general okay so that's pretty much it uh, in case you plan to take the PCNSA exam so one additional resource that I would also use um, and I've that I plan to use in case I decide to move forward and take this exam would be to use some type of flashcards. And I already mentioned on the previous video that I usually use Anki, that's the software. You have the web-based tool and also the mobile version of it. Okay, so let's just take a look at these PCNSA flashcards. And you can use this one from uh, Quizlet. And essentially what I would do is to copy this content and paste into Anki so that I can use Anki functionalities like space-based repetition just to bear memorize the questions, okay? And probably also use some type of AI tool to generate some tools, some questions as well. So there are other ones. So for example, on exam topics and medium. So it will just depends on the type of the questions and how they might be really useful to take this exam. So now let's take a look at PCNSE. Okay, the PCNC is considered to be a more advanced level than the PCNSA. Uh, so let's see, in case for registration, that would be the same as on person view. So let's just take a look at uh, data sheet. So this has been updated as well. So still a 90 minutes exam. So it costs 175. So it's also recommended to take these exams. And here we can take a look at the contents, so uh, core concepts, uh, proof panel OS, SAS interface types, identify. So they should cover things in depth in comparison to PCNSA. So you can see there is a lot more here in terms of topics, troubleshooting and a lot more. Okay, so also I'm going to share this in the video description. So the target audience that would be for uh, engineers, so more experience, experienced individuals, the recommended trainings. So they have here also the apprentice, practitioner, and the network security generalist. And also they have some structural led course. Okay, and as for additional resources, that should be the same one that we saw for PC NSA. So uh, those are the two exams. And again, also I would use uh, flashcards to help prepare for this exam. But at the time being, I've uh, been actually using, uh, let's see, the learning path for PCNSE, okay? Uh, PCNSA and PCNC. And I've been uh, building some legs using uh, even more precisely PNEC Lab. And I also already showed uh, some videos here in the channel on how to deploy uh, a lab using Palo Alto Firewall. So I'm going to share also this in the video description. 
and that's it guys so uh, those are the two exams that i've been kind of studying uh and in case you plan to take these exams you can use uh those resources as well so if you took value from this video don't forget to subscribe hit the like button and i'll see you on the next one